Hello. Hello, ma'am. Are you shredding for the wedding? This looks absolutely unreal. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. Look at these heatless curls this morning. We're looking fabulous. If you haven't jumped on the heatless curl train, I'm like encouraging you because I thought for so long, oh, I can't do that. And I think it was because I tried it like once or twice and didn't get them to look good. But now that I have them down, y'all, it's the best thing ever. Like I do it every single night. We've got some quick oats going this morning, a banana that has seen better days. So we shall see about this one. Got some almond butter, blueberries, and some quick oats. Bed is made, ready for the day. Here is my gym fit of the day. Align shorts on with the high neck, align tank top. And then I'm gonna wear this little button up over top. And this is from Lululemon as well. Oh, okay. Okay. That works. <laughs> yeah. He'd be following her and they'd both sit down. Got it. Because normally, because okay normally, you know, the dad's walking the bride, right. but I, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Well, normally it's, it's a mother and dad, but in Jason's, yep. it's just a mom. Yep. But in your part, yeah, Brian should follow the groomsmen and her. Perfect. Uh, walk into their seats. And then after that, do you want me and all, and Jay and I and all the groomsmen to come in? from the side and the front. So you and Jay will be there first, but the groomsmen are gonna be walking the bridesmaid down the aisle. Oh, they are? Yes. Yeah, they're so, not just walking them out, they're gonna walk them down. They're not gonna come in individually. Huh? They're gonna walk as pairs down the aisle. Oh, okay. Yep. So we will walk down. Jay and I will walk down the center aisle first. Okay. Then I'll do the invocation, reading all this, what it's about. And uh, then I'll say a prayer. Then I think it's time for personal story now. Uh, I just got off a call with my papa, which I'm sure if you've seen any of my other vlogs about wedding stuff, you already know that he is officiating our wedding. And this was like such an amazing decision to make to have him do it because one, he is like, one of the people that I look up to the most when it comes to our faith, and he is very involved in his church. I honestly think that he should have been a pastor, and I know that like he's on the praise, like he's on the worship team, the praise worship team. He's so well spoken, like he can talk in front of a crowd like no other, and I just think it's so special to have someone so close to you uh, be able to do this and he when we asked him that was just when him and my Mimi were here not even that long ago he has been buying books to read about this he has studied so much he's already um, certified or ordained in the state of Michigan he has basically helped me with wedding planning which is insane like him and I just went through our entire ceremony timeline and kind of pieced together what my wedding planner has done and also what he's done but the fact that he knows as much as what he does and the questions that he was just asking me he has just done so much research about it he was asking me like okay the timeline after the ceremony when we go into cocktail hour where are you all gonna stand and who's gonna have the rings and who's this and he just had everything lined out and he is so awesome like I'm just so excited about it and I also think it's a special opportunity to get to know him in a different 
different way. Like I grew up, my Mimi and Papa, and also my grandparents, which my grandpa passed away not too long ago. And that was like one of the hardest things, thinking, oh, I wish he was gonna be at our wedding day. And I remember thinking that when I lost my grandpa. And so it's always hard when you're planning a wedding and you're about to celebrate and some of the people that you wish were physically there might not be there physically. But we're actually gonna do a little um, a seat, memorial seat for both my grandfather and Jay's grandfather, um, which I think is gonna be really special. And originally I was gonna have it be a surprise for my grandma and Jay's mom because I think that it's gonna be really, really special to each of them, but I think it's a little too emotional to have that be a surprise. I think I would lose it if I were them. And so I think we're just gonna probably tell them ahead of time. And we're gonna do like a suit jacket or something for them and like a handkerchief or whatever. But my point of all of that was uh, my grandparents were very, very involved. They were at every single soccer game. They were at every single school event. Like it was very, very special. And also we spent a lot of time at both of their homes. So I know them very, very well. Uh, and it's such a blessing, but I think it's just been cool to get to know them in a different way. Like my papa is, has given us some marriage advice. He has given us some advice just about our faith. And also he's learned a lot about Jay and I and our relationship and how we met and how we started dating and all of that and so it's just been pretty cool and then this was a fun FaceTime it was about a 45 minute call just to go over everything and he just has gone above and beyond I don't think you could even have a pastor up there doing it that we know and I don't think that it would be as thorough and as special as what he's making it. Like, you know that he's taking it so seriously because he's planning months ahead. Like, he has everything down to a T, um, knows exactly what kind of microphones we're gonna have. He's singing the Lord's Prayer at our wedding, which I'm like, are you sure about that? Are you really going to feel like, that's a lot to take on to be the person who are um, officiant and also be the one that's singing the Lord's Prayer for us, but he is, he is he's doing it so really special and our wedding is going to be a mix of traditional and we're going to have some personal aspects to it obviously but it is definitely going to be a traditional christian wedding um it's not in the church but it's going we're going to have a lot of different aspects of it one thing i'm a little upset that we're not going to be able to do is the unity candle and i thought that would work but it's an outdoor wedding and it's just like too many different things that i'm like i don't want to be worried about that and be like is this going to even go well um, so that is one thing that I'm like eh, about and we were gonna do a kneeling prayer on um, and have pillows up there for us to kneel for a prayer but we're not gonna do that just because I don't want to mess with my dress before cocktail hour and just all the things so anywho that was a little bit of wedding planning going on and I have a couple other calls going on today so I just want to have my makeup done but I'm actually going to meet my sister and my dad at the coffee shop you guys know Fridays are my pretty open day, which is really nice. I will just be able to work when I have some extra time. I can do some computer work, but for the most part, my work is done for the day. I do have some brand deals I need to record, and I'm definitely gonna do that, but I'm gonna do that closer to dinner time because we have date night tonight, and I want to be all done up for any brand deals that I need to record. So, anywho, let's just do a little bit of makeup so I can feel a bit more put together I've been using these bronze and glow drops from first aid beauty oh oh geez Louise glad that didn't get on my white shirt I don't know what I think about these ones to be honest they are a little dark apply drops to create a, yeah I'm doing it correctly oh or mixed with skincare so I could See, they're pretty dang dark. I could mix it with a little bit of this, I suppose. I just prefer to not use a ton of foundation if I don't need to, because I think um, overall, obviously my chin's looking a little crazy, but overall my skin has really improved to where if I can do a light makeup look, that's what I like. Oh, this is not really looking how I want it to. I'm gonna leave my dad, sister and I are gonna go on a walk after we get coffee. I'm probably gonna get matcha. I really have not been drinking coffee very much lately. I probably get coffee like once a month, I would say, and I take a couple sips of it. I haven't even been needing it the way 
I used to. I think if you are trying to get away from caffeine, it's very hard in the beginning. But y'all, I feel like I have so much more natural energy than what I used to have. And I took pre-workout today. I've been doing stim free. And today was the first time I did half a scoop of my pre-workout that has caffeine in it. It's just a normal pre-workout. And I feel like I didn't even need to drink the whole thing. Like I drank probably like three fourths of it. And that's a half a scoop. And I felt totally fine. I felt like I had lots of extra energy for my workout. But I don't even feel like I need it, which is so nice. And the Stim Free just helps me have like a little bit more of like a pump and a good sweat. But not having to literally down coffee first thing in the morning to even survive is the best thing ever. I feel like it was like a downward spiral after that. I would have my coffee in the morning and then I would kind of like crash from my coffee and then I would have my pre-workout for my workout. And then later in the day, I'd either have another coffee or I would have an energy drink. And I honestly think what really gave me a caffeine addiction was starting to work at coffee shops every single day. And I'm like, well, I need to get something. And then I started finding drinks that I like. And I used to drink just like nitro cold brew and cold brew all the time. And now I'm like, okay, I'll have like a vanilla oat milk latte here and there as a treat. And it's not for the sake of getting caffeine in me. It's literally for the taste of it. And I think it tastes good. But regular coffee, yeah, no. I know that I need to wash my makeup brushes because the makeup is just not makeuping lately. It's really not. And also my skin breaking out, which totally could be from that as well. I also would say the week before my period, I break out the worst. Okay. Tonight when I get ready for date night, I'm so excited to use my new Rare Beauty stuff that just came in. I'm so excited to try out their new blushes. My chin is really ruining my vibe when it comes to breaking out a little because you see like sometimes I just like the look of no mascara rather than heavy mascara. Like I sometimes just like instantly regret it. Whatever. Oh, my chin is really ruining my vibe. I think that's what I was saying. I cannot freaking believe that my face has done so good lately. And the second that I have something going on next week, like I've just been chilling at home. Like I have not even had anything crazy going on. And of course I've had great skin. And then next week I have Coachella. And of course, of course my skin's freaking out. Of course. Cause that's just the way it goes. It really freaking is. Here's the makeup. Not looking too bad, I will say. But my chin's just ruining my vibe. I will say my face and my skin is just a million times better than what it was. A lot of it, I will say this over and over again, I think was gluten and being more strict about no dairy. So I've been no dairy for a long time. Well, I should say no lactose. I think lactose seems to be my issue. Some people have been saying that like, even without lactose, the dairy has been ruining their like digestion or messing with their digestion. And I don't know, I guess, I guess I could experiment with that a little bit, but I just try to avoid dairy for the most part. But then some things like my lactose free cottage cheese, that doesn't seem to bother me at all. Except my face is breaking out and I just started using that or just started having that more. So who knows, but I do think if I am not careful with dairy and now obviously uh, gluten, which I will never have gluten again intentionally, uh, my skin has gotten so much better. So I do think that that plays a huge role in it. I've got an oat milk vanilla latte. Look at me having coffee after I just told you guys that I haven't been drinking coffee. <laughs> and my sister's coming right here and my dad just left. Okay, here's what we've been up to. I just got off of my last call for the day. So now it's time to get ready for date night, which I'm super excited about. We're going to a place called Row. We went there two weeks ago, if you remember that. But I'm about to get ready and I'm excited because it's a lot warmer than what I thought it was gonna be. So I can wear a cute springy summer fit. I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this jean set where I have like a jean vest and some jean like matching denim and then wear some heels with it. We'll see how it looks, but first let's do makeup and everything. My call that I just got off of, I had a client call and then I also just had 
one about Coachella and everything that we've got going for Coachella, which I'm going with Table Rock, which is my management. And then we have a couple soul events, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, it made me so excited to go over the itinerary and everything. It's definitely a little out of my comfort zone, but I cannot wait. So let's get ready for dinner. Okay, makeup is complete. Deciding on an outfit right now, but I think the hair is just gonna stay as the heatless curls have left it. Okay, here's what I'm going with. This gray top. I just tried on a million different outfits. These dark wash jeans and my little kitten heels. Nothing like getting home from dinner before the sun even goes down. It is so nice. One, how late the sunset is. I'm just talking to the blow. So nice how late the sun sets, but also it's so nice to go to an early dinner. We are some early dinner peeps. I'm gonna take off this outfit, put on some pajamas, and then we are chilling for the rest of the night. Here's the floss that I use. It's the Coco floss. And I love it because it's like a little bit thicker and I just feel like it works so much better. Good morning guys, here is my gym fit of the day. I'm going to Steph's Pilates class. I'm so excited to support her. This is just a little bandeau top and then these are my liaison collab shorts. Add an Ola sweatshirt and then I'm just bringing this bag with my camera, my wallet, my keys. I'll put my water in here. And I'm so freaking excited to try one of her classes. She doesn't normally teach on Saturday. She normally teaches, I think on Tuesday mornings at like 5, 8, or not 5, 7 a.m. or something. And it's just too early for me to get all the way to St. Pete at that time. And I have been dying to try one of her classes. So that's what we're doing this morning. Put my engagement ring on. I don't normally work out with my ring. Actually, I hardly ever work out with my ring on unless it's like a Pilates class because you can do it without damaging it at all. Of course, I'm gonna use some of my Soul Body Mist. I just drenched myself in this before a workout. Mmm, smells so good. I'm gonna bring my little Bala bands. These are little ankle weights. You can put them on your wrists if you want. Bring in those, and then I'm also gonna bring a mat. I was just parking on the street and I'm so upset. I dinged the heck. I literally messed up my rim so bad from this right here. I'm so mad. Oh, that's so frustrating. Here's where the class is. It is in St. Pete and it's called Freebird Fitness. Look who is at the front desk waiting. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hi, it's my first time here. I'm still decide feeling it out still. <laughs> Okay, home for lunch now. Look on the weekends, what do you say, Jay? Like we normally will eat out majority of the time. Yes. <laughs> and I- We like say we only keep it to Friday, but it's literally- Right, we end up eating out a decent amount on Saturdays. And I think the biggest reason is we grocery shop on Sundays. So we don't have that many groceries left. 
We've got some factor meals though. I've got some different options. I'm gonna see which ones are gluten free and the ones that are gluten free are for me. And then I feel like the majority of the ones that I got this time were. And then the rest of them are Jay's, which he loves to hear that. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one. It's gluten free? It's for me, yeah. Um, Susanna at our church, she always says, I don't know about y'all, but if it's free, it's for me. If it's gluten free, it's for me. Um, we've got a tofu, black beans, and rice one. This one's spicy sweet potatoes and peanut sauce. Another tofu beans and rice and another tofu bean, or yeah, three tofu beans and rice. I think that this one might be the move. Might be the move. Jay's gonna have one in a little bit, but I normally will just throw it in the microwave. It takes about two minutes to cook. They're fresh and never frozen. We love some factor in this house. And we go through it quickly. The second we've got the meals, we must throw them. Put it in the microwave. And I normally will put it on a different plate just to make it look a little bit prettier and more like a home cooked meal because we know we're not having any of that during the weekend. I'd say it's about half and half, but we we do eat out a lot on the weekends. Especially, I love it. It's like a reward. I know. It's like a reward. Put it in this one right here. And I think we're gonna have a good little pool day ahead of us. We were just saying we're like, should we clean the garage today? Because we need to clean the garage gym. I think we're gonna put that one off to tomorrow. Today is going to be a relaxing day. I've got a couple different things that I need to record today and a little bit of computer work that I might get done. And I also want to finish my book. But for the most part during the day, I'm trying to lay out and get some sunshine. I leave town. Oh, first of all, take a look at that. Take a look at that. I'm going to put a little paper towel over it. Microwave it. I leave town this week, so I think tomorrow's grocery, I leave on Thursday, but I feel like tomorrow's groceries might be like a little bit on the lighter side and I'll have a couple of these meals this week. If you have never tried Factor and you're looking for meal prep that is not frozen and tastes like meal prep, I 1 million percent recommend Factor if you go to the office. That's why we actually started getting them for Jay because he was having to pack his lunch for work and then if he didn't pack his lunch in time he would end up having to eat out or he wouldn't have any lunch for him and he'd just work throughout the day and so we got these for him to take and then i started stealing them having some as well and they are just so good they're such good quality uh meal preps and i feel like as we go into summertime we're always on the go especially with the pool i, I never want to stop in the middle of the day and make lunch on the weekends and then during the week i really don't want to stop and make lunch i feel like it's like breakfast and dinner that i actually focus on so this is good where i can still get some protein in me and rather than just like snack throughout the day so once that is out i'm gonna get in my bikini and have a little lunch take a look oh that's a little hot jay just said that looks amazing will you transport it over to the table for me kind sir and smells great Hot potato, hot potato. Literally, those are sweet potatoes, right? Yum. No, it's tofu. This one's not the sweet potato one. <laughs> I will link this in my description box so that you can try out Factor and you can go to factor75.com. You can either use the link in my description or use code SydneyAdams50. Let's do a little taste test. I always do the same chicken meals, so this one's actually a new one for me. And weirdly enough, I actually really like tofu. Do you like tofu, Jay? I think so. It's actually really good. I used to get it at hibachi sometimes. Eat hibachi. Mmm. 50 float, eat hibachi. Wow. Yummy. No, this might be up there as one of my favorites. Uh, top two. Honestly, top two, yeah. All right, one more bite on the camera and then I'll spare you from eating my whole meal. Tea time, tea time. Tofu time, tea time. Mm -hmm. So good. Jay's planning his outdoor nap. He's practicing. <laughs> I can take a nap after that, so. No, it's so relaxing. Honestly, the best thing that we ever did was that waterfall. Isn't it hard to picture what it would be like out there without it? 
because it's just so relaxing to listen to. Y'all, we're just gonna have some fresh air coming through here today, right? How nice. And we are gonna be out there here soon. Have you updated? No, I haven't. You wanna be the updater? Here's what we got. So, waiting on the dudes to come out to, what we're doing is we're matching the pavers by the pool, the white and gray. Yep. And we're matching those, taking these up right here, and we're gonna put the white and gray here as well. Yep. So then we're taking these right here, we got a couple other pallets coming in, taking these right here, and those are the ones we have in the driveway. So we're taking those and we're gonna use the ones on the other pallet as well, and we're gonna extend <laughs> the driveway. Um, and then over yonder, we're gonna do some rock, white rock, a few trees, some plants. Let's talk about the white rock real quick. <laughs> yeah, so if any of y'all know anything about white rock, over time, does it turn green? I can see. Jay and I have had a little bit of a scuttle. I wanted to do gray rock because I've heard that over time, a white rock is going to turn green or yellow. And it makes perfect sense. I've seen white rocks that have turned that way. So I thought a darker gray would look good, but unfortunately we couldn't find that. So yeah. I just caved in on the white. Like they were just all looking black. They turn green or yellow. I can just hit sit with the told you. I know, I know. Y'all, I'm really praying that that doesn't happen because the white rock that we're getting literally matches so well to our waterfall and it is going to look really nice, but I do have a fear that I am going to hear. I told you so here soon. It'll be like we're actually going to head to Target. Yeah, well, mama wants a floaty. We're gonna get some floaties, arm floaties. <laughs> I honestly am not a strong swimmer, so we've got like an eight foot pool. <laughs> I wonder if it's cold today. Yesterday it wasn't feeling cold at all. Right. No, I didn't swim in it. I but... like jumped in. Like, I haven't actually chilled because it's kind of. Are you gonna get a floaty too? No. Okay. Because he doesn't I like use... clutter. Yeah, I don't like clutter. And we don't have anywhere to store it right now. In the pool. It'd be cool to have, I don't want to drink. I was going to say it'd be cool to have like some beers by yeah. the pool today, but Why not? I don't no. want to drink. Okay. I'm on a diet. <laughs> he is on a diet. And you look nice. That's the size of your head, Are man. you shredding for the wedding? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally the size of your head. Nice. I got a big head too. Big noggin, big baby. Head. I'm thinking I just do this over top and we head to Target. We're going to get some little floats and get ready for a pool day. Okay, here is my bikini. It's such a comfy material too. I love this bikini. And I believe this is from Amazon as well. My little cover up to find the link for it. Perfect, right? To just throw on to run to the store. This is fine for Target, right? One thing I know for sure is that I'm hitting my water today. Oh, so are you, huh? Get it sexy! Boy, you know the super fat eyeliner. You never heard that song? I've, I literally have no clue what you even just said. I, I can't wait to show you. Get it sexy. You grabbing element packets? Oh. I did. Wait, I don't think I did this morning actually. I don't want any right now. I'm gonna do citrus salt. Oh, they're all citrus salts now, huh? Because I don't think I got a mixed pack. Correct. Do you like the citrus salt? I do. <coughs> I always <coughs> breathe it in. <laughs> <laughs> salt with a little bit of flavor. Flavor. You do two of them? Two of them. bad boys. Because I got a galley right here. Yeah. I got a galley wagon. I was wondering that this morning. I'm like, you probably can hardly taste the element, but I didn't realize you did too. Shake it, I want to ride Shake it, shake it. Jay shook his protein powder this morning and it spilled everywhere. Sure did. Still touches that. It... He doesn't want to talk about it. Got all over my phone, went in the dishwasher, had to rewash the dishes that were in there. You had your phone on, speakerphone when you were on it? Yeah, I was on the phone with my mom. <laughs> Came back over here to grab the cap and it went Knocked everywhere. it. Knocked it. <clears throat> it was 
Okay, we have some options. Would I have to blow this up with my mouth? That does not sound fun at all. What are we liking? How cool is this? Pool hockey? <laughs> Little basketball hoop? Oh my gosh, that's funny, a sloth. I feel like I just want a basic one. Even this is cute, but I want one that I can lay back on. Probably one of these. Are they all green? Well, we thought maybe there were some better options at Pinch Penny than Target, but just about the same, except for one that was 200 bucks, which is crazy and so unnecessary. So we went with this little one and looking like we're gonna have to blow it up ourselves. Getting some sun. Came in to make a little snack. I've got this chicken, classic chicken breast, for his head. Simple Mills crackers. And I'm trying to decide maybe I do a little cream cheese with it. Jay might get a pub sub, but they do have gluten bread at Publix. I just don't think that I trust them, to be honest with you, nothing against them, but I just don't know if they will use like all new clean utensils and like care about being gluten-free and celiac. So for right now, I'm just gonna do a little snack at home, sit out by the pool, but a pub sub sounds delicious. Inflatable thing. Yeah, we need a pump, big time. So, feels good though because it is hot out. I think this is as far as I'm going. <laughs> Jay's grabbing me a smoothie bowl. I feel like I've been a bottomless pit today. <laughs> like all I do when I'm out in the sun and hanging by the pool or at the beach. I just want to have snacks, have something to eat, and the smoothie bowl sounded amazing. Also, I have a towel over my head out there right now because I'm reading on my Kindle and I have gotten enough sun on my face and I like strain my eyes too much when I'm trying to read out there. So he's grabbing me a smoothie bowl and he's also grabbing steaks for tonight to make for dinner. My sister, dad, brother-in-law, and Ty are coming over right now and they're gonna hang out at the pool with us and I'm so excited. This is what I'm like the most excited about having the pool is to have everyone gather and to host here. <laughs> He's already got some sunshine on his face, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> like oh, ho, ho. it's chilly, huh? Not very rubbed in, but. <laughs> He's watching, watching dad and copying. Jay got some pliables and got me a, a little acai bowl. It's actually a banana bowl, not acai, but I am so excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, Muffin. What How do those see? taste? Oh, those are a different kind of little puff, huh? Garden fresh. Oh, healthy. <laughs> What you think about that? What you think? Ball. The ball! I'll grab it. He never does stuff on camera. Hi. I like when he starts laughing in the bathroom. I like grab my phone and just pop it up right up under the back. Like, so you can see it? Yeah. It's hard. Hi. It's like he, he knows. It'll get to us soon. He knows 
Unidays. Yeah. Can you say please? Uh, Tell Papa to bring his bathing Papa, suit next please. time. Woo! Right back into the middle. <laughs> His and hers. <laughs> Doing a little steak night tonight. Jay's gonna be on the grill. The grill. Jay just got these off of our Traeger grill and now he's gonna put it on the cast iron. That's to make it have like a little crust. Yep. Looking good. Now that I know that you can make a mean steak. <laughs> make a mean steak, baby. Look at that. Like requested. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? This looks absolutely unreal. Like, I am so excited. Good morning. Here's the outfit that I'm thinking for church today. I have on this cardigan. I believe I just got this from Amazon. And then these pants are from Aritzia. And love these pants. I was trying to figure out what the heck to wear with them. But I think that this looks pretty cute. It's nothing, nothing crazy. I was trying to do this like layered with something else to kind of switch it up and not have it be just like plain Jane. But I think it's still pretty cute. Okay, makeup is complete. I'm thinking I'm gonna do these sneakers right here with this outfit. I feel like they match perfectly. I'm gonna do a little Summer Fridays lip gloss. I'm just gonna do some Sol de Janeiro body mist. I feel like my makeup's looking really good today, which I'm loving because all I did was um, those tinted, I guess they're like a skin tint drops that I got from First Aid Beauty. I feel like I used too much of them last time. I can't get y'all some good lighting to see my makeup, but regardless, I feel like it's looking good today and I didn't do any foundation. So just did a little concealer down here where my face is breaking out and underneath my eyes. And then I did some blush and some bronzer and I used my new Rare Beauty blush, which I'm obsessed with. I got these Bible tabs and they just came in. So on the way to church, I'm gonna put these on to my Bible. Just left church and we are headed to True Food to have a little lunch. We grabbed some Whole Foods after our lunch at True Food, and here's what we got. We got some green beans. Of course, we got some Japanese sweet potatoes. Really, the only place that we can find Japanese sweet potatoes is Whole Foods, so if you're looking for them, I don't even think Sprouts has ever even had them. Got some strawberries, cottage cheese. They were out of the kind that I always get. So this is Green Valley. Hope it's good. Y'all, I made a huge mistake and didn't realize that all of the True Whips are not dairy free. And I, <laughs> matter of fact, I've been saying to Jay that I've been having stomach aches. I'm like, why am I having stomach aches? And I said, maybe it's a true whip, which I go, well, that makes no sense because it's not, it's not dairy. And it turns out the original is not dairy free. So this is the only kind that is. Whole Foods has it, but Publix only has the kind with dairy. So if you've been seeing me have the purple one and you're dairy free, make sure you get this kind. Ooh, those are nice. Yeah. Jay's trying on some new overalls. This is our almond milk that we always get. Another Japanese sweet potato. Gonna try these out this time. The So Delicious Dairy-Free Dipped Bars. I put away, I put away all the groceries and realized I only showed you guys a couple things. 
I also got some cereal. This is the Lovebird brand. I've tried the Mary's crackers before, but not these ones. These ones are the real thin garlic rosemary. This is a restock of the chocolate. I am obsessed with this. It's the cocoa granola, and it is from the One Degree Farmers We Know brand. Amazing, and I have that with my yogurt. Got five of these, after they're already in the fridge, taking them out, but got five of these different flavors. I got toasted coconut, some peach ones, and the vanilla. Someone recommended this to me. It's the Carbonat gluten-free bread, and I like that they are pretty good sized pieces of bread because that's kind of hard to find, honestly, with gluten-free bread. Some frozen fruit, strawberries and banana. This is the gluten-free kind of better bagel. I didn't even know that they had gluten-free. I got this kind and then Jay got this kind right here, the regular kind. We got a couple cucumbers because I like these sliced with my tomatoes on my cottage cheese bread. Shower started, I think it is time to kind of wind down for the night. I am going to go over my plan for the week and just kind of see what all I need to get done in the next day or so. Okay, probably not great to be doing that to my hair face. And get in my pajamas, do my skincare, all the things, and just chill out for the rest of the night. So I love y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed these last couple days in my life, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. This week is going to be an exciting one. We've got some pack with me, get ready for my trip, Coachella outfits, and then we're headed to Coachella. So it ought to be interesting. I'm gonna show you guys the whole first timer at Coachella and I always love my travel vlogs. They're so fun for me. I love getting to be with some of my really close friends and girls on my management team and some girls that I haven't even met yet. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm excited. We had lots of home vlogs and now we get to bring back a little sprinkle of travel.